Most of the time when you're working inside a post workshop, you're going to pop over to your styles panel, double click on a style and apply that to your image. And you can see that gets applied over here into our layer styles panel. However, there are a few filters that you cannot apply directly to a layer. If I come over to my vectoral tools folder and double click on the generic stroke renderer to apply it to the layer, you can see that I get an error message. Let's click on the Style Editor tab and drag and drop this filter over. Something to note is we have some pins on the left hand side of the filter. These are the input pins and on the right are the output pins. If I try to grab my image and plug it in to one of these input pins, you can see that I still get another error message. That's because these pins aren't image pins. They're accepting a different kind of data. What we need to do is find a filter that has a stroke output that we can plug in right here. If I grab my edge detector and bring it over, you can see that on its output side it has a stroke pin. Any pin that is light colored can be plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in, grab my image, plug that into the image pin, and now if I select my generic stroke renderer filter and come over to the properties and preview panel, I can start um, altering some of the render types here and getting some different looks. The bristles is giving us a little bit of a brush look. Simple line is just that, a simple line. And then the airbrush is giving us a little bit of a softer look. I really like that airbrush look. Now what I can do is grab the output pin from the stroke renderer filter and plug it in over here on my um, layer panel. Now I can plug it in above, I can nestle it within, or I can plug it in below. I'm going to plug this one in above. If I go back to my main viewport, you can see that the filter chain that we've created has um, made its own layer and because it is its own layer, I can go ahead and apply um, any of the layer effects that we normally would to it. Now another filter that we can't apply directly to a layer is the Stroke Directions filter. So once again, I'm going to go over to my Style Editor and drag and drop this over. You can see this filter has an input pin for an image, but it has a magenta output pin. Technically speaking, this stroke direction data is a 2D vector field that for every pixel of the image, it provides a direction to draw some stroke brushes. So if I grab my image and plug it into that, you can see that it's creating some um, brush strokes for us. What we need to do now is find a filter that takes stroke directions as its input. One example of this is the simple strokes filter. First, let's just hook up the image to the simple strokes filter and see what this does for us. You can see that over here in my properties and preview panel, what the end result is. And I can go ahead and alter some of these attributes, get some different looks. I can also hook up these two light colored pins together. Once I do that, I now have the stroke directions driving the simple strokes filter. So if I unhook this pin, you can see the difference over there in the properties and preview panel as opposed to when I hook it back up. After having connected the stroke directions pin, you can see that the strokes start to follow the natural paths directed by luminosity gradients and object borders.
Another filter that uses stroke directions as its input is the directed curves filter. This filter creates strokes that follow the stroke directions. So I just go ahead and hook up these pins and then I can see what the end result is over here in my properties and preview panel and once again I can go ahead and alter some of the attributes. Now the output pin for the directed curves is a um, strokes collection pin and what we need to do is convert this to an image to bring it over to our um, layer style. Now the output pin to the directed curves is a strokes collection pin and what we need to do is convert this to an image so we can bring it over here to our layers panel. This time let's go ahead and grab our curved strokes filter and we can hook these guys up and we can see what the end result is over here. Let's grab a different brush and pop that in. And then, of course, we can alter some of the uh, attributes. And we can also come to some of the previous filters and still change up some things over here. Thus affecting our final image. One thing I didn't do is plug in the image into our directed curves filter. Once I do that, you can see that the directed curves is now taking on some of the image colors. And once I click on my curved strokes, you can see now that all three of these filters are working together. And once again, I can grab the output and bring it in as a separate layer. So that's just taking a look at some of the different uh, filter chains that you can create inside a post workshop and thus creating another um, layer style.